time for Acho's Macho Men. Dig it. Oh, yeah. Now, entering Studio Z, hailing from <laughs> Dallas, Texas, standing at six foot three and 259 pounds, nine NFL seasons, ESPN NFL analyst, Sam Acho! Oh, yeah, brother. <laughs> the cream of the crop. There's no one ever been seen like this, brother and sister. And I'm here for my brand new segment, Macho's Macho Men. Wow. Oh, yeah. oh that's fire. A grand entrance. I love this. This is how he walks in every room, I, I feel like. Yes, the, the cape. The, it's the, the cape. It's the bandana. It's the everything I've got. Even to my glasses, brother. This is how I show up because when I arrive, there's no one in society like me. Are we gonna talk like this the whole entire time? Oh, yeah, the yeah, yeah, entire yeah. time. <laughs> I have reached okay, segment. Okay. Just making sure, just making sure. So you are here to show us the cream of the crop of week two, correct? The uh, cream. So so who are your cream of the crop of week two in the NFL season? Well, if you're gonna come out like me, brother. It's got to be three guys that dominated on Sunday. And the number one is a guy by the name of Bobby Wagner. Check this film out. He's one of my brothers. He had 20 tackles. He had 16 solo tackles. He had a sack. He had a tackle for loss. Two quarterback hits. He was one of the Acho's macho men. And that's why he's got these glasses and that bandana, because he's macho. <laughs> All right, who you got next, macho man? Macho man number two. <laughs> Once again, you got to be big. You got to be strong. You got to be fast. And this guy plays offense. His name is Derrick Henry. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. Derrick Henry ran for 235 yards. Three total touchdowns. He's got a stiff arm that even brings me fear, brother. And he led his team to victory. <laughs> if you want to be a macho man and wear the bandana and the glasses, you got to be the cream of the crop. And Derrick Henry's the cream. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so. Uh, the Chiefs Ravens game. <laughs> I feel like I have to Yeah, I can like give it. you a bandana and some glasses <laughs> okay, if you want Chiefs, it, sister. Chiefs Ravens, do you have a macho man from that game? Oh, I have to have a macho man from this game. And this guy, he's never beaten the Chiefs, uh -huh. but he did it yesterday. Uh -huh. And his name is Lamar, the star, Jack Action Jackson. Can't forget the action. He ran for 207 yards. He threw it for 239 yards. Had three, I said it, three total touchdowns. And he did a pure away, call it a flip. Maybe a cartwheel. I don't know exactly what it is, but he gets the bandana and the glasses. He's the last Acho's Macho Man. Okay, so Acho Man, we got to ask you tonight, Monday Night Football, going to ask you to look into the Acho Man crystal ball. Who will be tonight's Acho Man? Well, this guy. Oh, this guy. I'm nervous. <laughs> it was abysmal last week. He embarrassed himself, according to his coach. But he better play good because if Aaron Rodgers isn't macho, I'm coming after him, brother, just like that guy Cameron Jordan did last week. If Aaron Rodgers isn't macho tonight against the Detroit Lions, Aaron Rodgers will be relieved of his hat, of his bandana. He will never wear the Acho macho glasses ever again. Wow. I love this. And I love that we're doing this every single Monday, machos. Acho's Macho Man. Get it right, sister. <laughs> get it right, because if you don't get it right, I'm never coming back, and you'll never get the glasses. Every Monday, he's here. Don't worry. He's here. <laughs> or I, the I bandana. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.